Escherichia coli. Introduction Escherichia coli is a gram-negative, beta-hemolytic, modal bacilli, except for its atypical types. It's mostly capsulated in 80% of cases. It is urease-negative and ferments lactose on McConkie acre. Escherichia coli is aerogenic on sugar fermentation. It's indole and methylred positive, but vogus proskauer and citrate test negative. Escherichia coli is part of normal gut flora. A large concentration is found in human feces, and therefore, fecal-oral route is the largest source of infection. It's the most common facultative anaerobe present in the human gastrointestinal tract. Serotyping in Escherichia coli is done based on surface antigen profile. O, somatic antigen, has more than 170 O serotypes. K, capsular antigen, has more than 100 K serotypes. H, flagellar antigen, has more than 75 H serotypes. Diarrheogenic Escherichia coli Diarrheogenic Escherichia coli are among the most frequent bacterial causes of gastroenteritis worldwide. The characteristics of diarrheal illness caused by the following pathotypes are Enteroinvasive Escherichia coli Enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli Enteropathogenic Escherichia coli Enteroaggregative Escherichia coli Enterohemorrhagic Escherichia coli, which is Shiga toxin producing Escherichia coli. Enteroinvasive Escherichia coli. It's an atypical Escherichia coli, non modal, non lactose fermenting, anaerogenic. It invades the large intestine. They contain enzymes that force host cells to endocytose the bacterial cells. Once inside the host cell, enteroinvasive Escherichia coli lyses its phagosome and begins replication in the cytoplasm. The bacteria continue to invade nearby cells, resulting in lateral spread and destruction of the cells, leading to necrosis and inflammation, resulting in dysentery, inflammatory bloody diarrhea. Its invasiveness is due to virulent marker antigen, and it's also positive, the Sirini test. The Sirini test is a test used to test the invasiveness of enteroinvasive Escherichia coli, Shigella species, and Listeria monocytogens. It's done by inoculating the suspension of bacteria into the guinea pig's eye. Severe mucopurulent conjunctivitis and severe keratitis indicate a positive test. Enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli. It's the most common cause of traveler's diarrhea in all age groups. Its infective dose is greater than 10 to the 9th power and is transmitted only by contaminated food or water. Traveler's diarrhea is characterized by watery diarrhea and possible nausea, but usually no fever. The disease is self-limiting and resolves within around 24 to 72 hours. Virulence is due to the presence of virulence plasmids, colonization factor antigens, present on frimbriae, outer membrane, it mediates adhesion, for example, CFA1, CFA3, CS1, CS2. Enteropathogenic Escherichia coli. It causes non-inflammatory, watery diarrhea via different factors. It's most commonly seen in children less than six months of age and almost exclusively in children younger than two years of age. Enteropathogenic Escherichia coli attach to the brush border cells of the small intestines using adherence factors. Instead of releasing enterotoxins, they use enzymes to efface or flatten the microvilli. This causes the intestinal cells to lose their absorptive surfaces. Due to reduced absorption, there will be an osmotic imbalance resulting in the efflux of water and electrolytes leading to diarrhea. As with enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli, Enteropathogenic Escherichia coli are also non-invasive and do not penetrate intestinal cells. Enteroaggregative Escherichia coli. It is non-invasive but causes dysentery via cytotoxin production. Enteroaggregative Escherichia coli are capable of inducing the release of interleukin-8 and inducing epithelial barrier dysfunction. 
Enteroaggregate of Escherichia coli use fimbriae to adhere to the mucosa layer of enterocytes. They then use enzymes to produce mucus and a biofilm. Once secured, enteroaggregate of Escherichia coli produces a cytotoxin that damages the intestinal cell, resulting in bloody diarrhea. The gold standard for the diagnosis of enteroaggregate of Escherichia coli is the detection of the AGGR regulon using molecular techniques. Enterohemorrhagic Escherichia coli. It's a rare form. It is also known as Shiga toxin producing Escherichia coli. An uncommon but clinically significant strain of Escherichia coli is the O157H7 strain that can cause enterohemorrhagic Escherichia coli infection. Common sources of infection by the O157H7 serotype of Escherichia coli include swimming pools, direct contact with people and animals, ingestion of food and drinking water. Contaminated ground beef is the most common cause of foodborne outbreaks. Produce-associated outbreaks, however, are also common. Enterohemorrhagic Escherichia coli contains a Shiga-like toxin that can cause hemolytic uremic syndrome and also causes dysentery and hemorrhagic colitis. The Shiga-like toxin alone is sufficient to produce necrosis and inflammation. However, it also inhibits the 28S rRNA on the 60S large ribosomal subunit, thereby inhibiting protein synthesis in enterocytes. These same toxins can systemically circulate the host and bind to the glomerular endothelium in the kidney, causing kidney damage. Glomerular endothelium damage induces platelet aggregation at the injury site. These microthrombi produce protrusions in blood vessels that shear red blood cells and platelets as they flow through the kidney, damaging the cells. As a result, this causes the hemolytic uremic syndrome triad of anemia, thrombocytopenia, and acute kidney failure. Shiga toxin-producing Escherichia coli nomenclature has been confusing and problematic. As an example, Shiga toxin-producing Escherichia coli that produce Shiga toxin 1 but do not produce Shiga toxin 2 rarely cause bloody diarrhea, so enterohemorrhagic is an inaccurate term for such organisms. Shiga toxin-producing Escherichia coli can also be a confusing term because providers sometimes interpret the detection of Shiga toxin to mean that a patient is infected with Shigella. The term Shiga-like toxin-producing Escherichia coli has fallen into disuse. Toxins, heat labile and heat stable toxin. Heat labile toxin. It is similar to cholera toxin. AB5 subunit toxin It acts by increasing cyclic adenosine monophosphate, which occurs with adenosine diphosphate ribosylation of GS-alpha that leads to secretions of ions and causes secretory diarrhea. For labile toxin identification, one can perform the following test. Rabbit allele loop assay, read at 18 hours, Biken test, immune diffusion test, Y1 adrenal tumor assay, Chinese hamster ovary assay, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or radioimmunoassay, for toxin detection, polymerase chain reaction, or probes gene detection. Heat-stable toxin. It's a 19-amino acid-long polypeptide. It acts by increasing cyclic guanosine. 3. 5-monophosphate is caused by directly increasing the activity of guanolate cyclase, which leads to secretions of ions, resulting in secretory diarrhea. For stable toxin identification, one can perform the following test. Rabbit allele loop assay, read at 6 hours. Intragastric assay. Enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or radioimmunoassay polymerase chain reaction, or probes. Patients suffering from enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli develop abundant watery diarrhea, abdominal cramps, fever, and vomiting. It's usually self-limiting in three to four days. Diagnosis is done by gram staining, which reveals no pus cells, red blood cells. Cultivation, a makanki can also be done 
and a test for toxigenicity can be done too. Points to ponder. Most other infections caused by Escherichia coli are due to the normal gastrointestinal flora, which has acquired special virulence factors. They cause diseases when they enter a normally sterile extraintestinal site. Escherichia coli is the most common cause of urinary tract infections in all age groups. Males, females, urinary tract infections causing Escherichia coli are called uropathogenic Escherichia coli. These possess pili, which helps in adherence. Escherichia coli is the most common cause of intra-abdominal abscess, peritonitis. The most common gram-negative bacteria to cause neonatal meningitis, it also causes nosocomial pneumonia, wound infections, burn infections, emphysematis, pyelonephritis, etc. Escherichia coli is known to acquire resistance against antimicrobial drugs using efflux pumps. Treatment Escherichia coli have high mutation rates against antibiotics. Conjugation is the major mechanism for the horizontal transfer of antibiotic-resistant genes between bacteria. Supportive care with fluid, electrolyte, and nutritional management is the cornerstone of the treatment of diarrheal illnesses. Diarrhea associated with Escherichia coli resolves spontaneously. For patients with diarrhea who have a pathogenic Escherichia coli identified on stool testing, it's suggested not to administer antibiotic therapy. Diarrhea associated with pathogenic Escherichia coli. Antibiotics can be effective in reducing the duration. Additionally, antibiotic therapy is not recommended in cases of Shiga toxin-producing Escherichia coli infection because of the association hemolytic uremic syndrome. When antibiotic therapy is indicated, azithromycin or fluoroquinolone is generally an appropriate choice. For infectious diarrhea, azithromycin is given as a single 1 gram dose for patients without dysentery or as 500 milligrams once daily for 3 days. Appropriate fluoroquinolones include ciprofloxacin, a single 750 milligrams dose or 500 milligrams twice daily for 3 to 5 days, and levofloxacin, 500 milligrams as a single dose or given once daily for 3 to 5 days. Specifically, Azithromycin and fluoroquinolones have been effective for enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli in treating traveler's diarrhea. Antibiotic resistance among enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli and enteroaggregative Escherichia coli is common. Image-based discussion. This is an image of the isolation of enteric pathogens from stool using selective media. On each plate, Shigella is indicated by the arrowhead and Escherichia coli by the arrow. All three media differentiate lactose fermenting from non-lactose fermenting organisms by pH-sensitive dyes. Panel A. This is an image of Makanki agar. Panel B. This is an image of Hectoan enteric agar. And Panel C. This is an image of xylose lysine deoxycholate agar. This is a high-powered microscopy image demonstrating adherence of uropathogenic Escherichia coli onto uroepithelial cells. This is an image of Makanki agar. Because of the abundant normal flora present in stool, detection of enteric pathogens requires culture on selective and differential media. Makanki agar inhibits the growth of gram-positive bacteria and differentiates between gram-negative bacteria that ferment the lactose pink to red colonies on this medium, and those that do not, colorless. Neither Salmonella nor Shigella can ferment lactose on this medium. This image shows the culture of two Escherichia coli strains on sorbital Makanki agar. Most Escherichia coli utilize sorbital, red colonies on right, but Escherichia coli 015787 cannot, colorless colonies on left. This is an image showing a gram stain of unspun urine showing an inflammatory cell in numerous gram-negative bacilli. Escherichia coli grew from this specimen. The presence of one or more bacteria per oil immersion field of fresh unspun urine usually indicates infection with 100,000 or more organisms per milliliter.